Hi Stampin' Friends, it's Chris Slogar from BuckeyeInklings.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this note card clutch which uses a single square of two-sided designer paper and I'm using Stampin' Up's All My Love paper which is a nice thick paper and it's key that it's two-sided because when you open it up and look inside you see the coordinating side as the lining of your clutch. So I have inside the clutch um, these three and a half by five inch note cards. They were just stamped with the coordinating um, stamp set for this paper. It's called Forever Lovely. Um, but the important thing is that they are three and a half by five. We're not going to make the note cards, but that is what fits inside this clutch. So you can make whatever note cards you want and modify, you know, like, the theme could be with any paper that you have uh, to make this project. So lots of possibilities there. All right, so like I said, the clutch starts with one single square of designer series paper, and this is cut to 11 inches by 11 inches. If you have paper with a direction, put that on your board right side up first, okay? So you see these flowers, they, they kind of all point up. So we want to keep that in mind when we make our clutch. So it's not like, you know, the, the flowers are all sideways on the clutch. Okay, so I'm going to have those pointing up and I'm going to score at two and three quarters and eight and a quarter on that side. All right, now when we rotate, you can rotate either way. It doesn't matter for the direction of your paper because what we're going to score is um, the same distance from either side. So you're not going to have to take that direction into account. And when you turn it, you're going to score at two and three quarters, three and a half, seven and a half, and eight and a quarter. Okay, so those, those pairs of score lines come in equidistant from what I would say is the top and the bottom. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, once you have those score lines, go ahead and go around and burnish on all of them to get your pro get that paper ready to make your project. If you find that your paper is cracking, because you know some of these are so thick, um, you get a little cracking, work those thick papers in both directions before you push down hard with your bone folder okay so like that and then and then press it down but um it's nice to have the thick paper for this all right and i want to make sure oh this one turned out pretty good sometimes you might have a case where these don't come together perfectly you sort of want to force them to um, come together and meet in the middle nicely. So take a little extra time to fold them and force that if need be. Now sometimes you just need to hold them and and reburnish so that they come together nicely. All right, and then with the directional pattern, what we're gonna do, we're making sort of this fold up clutch. But if I leave it so that the flowers are pointing up, when I fold up the bottom and fold down the top, see the flowers are all upside down. So what I'm gonna have you do, this folded piece, rotate it around if you have directional paper, and then we're gonna make the pouch down on this end. When we fold it up, the flowers are going the right direction. When we fold the flap down, the flowers are going the right direction. All right, and then I'm gonna do something on my project that you're not going to do, but I hope this makes it easier to see what I'm folding. I'm gonna take a Sharpie and identify these score lines so that you can see better what we need to fold together because we have to take this from a, a 2D item to a 3D item, right? So I'm going to just mark along these score lines and make some right angles that will be important for our folding. You're not gonna do this on yours. I'm just doing it here so that you can see what I'm getting at when I tell you to fold things together. Okay, and I'm purposely making them like right angles. So each, each set of these lines like this and this are a pair. All right, and you'll see what happens. 
All right, so to make this into a dimensional, this, this section here is going to become the side of our box. And to make that happen, we are going to take this score line and force it to meet this score line, all right? So I'm gonna kind of put my finger in there. That's the point where there needs to be um, like an angle and see how I'm forcing that score line to come down and meet the other one. So those are, those are two score lines that were a pair and I'm bringing them together like so. And then on the inside, um, hold on, once I get this nice and smooth, I'll show you better. On the inside here, this diagonal, you can press that hard with your bone folder and burnish that, okay? So you've made one of the four corners that you need to make. Now we're gonna move on to the next one and do the same thing. Take that score line and bring it down to meet the other one. It's partner. Okay, and then on the inside, we're burnishing that, that diagonal. All right, so already we have one side of our pouch created. All right, we're gonna do that two more times and that's it. Okay, again, I hope, <laughs> I'm trying to get the angle right for you to see it, but again, we're bringing the lines together, the score lines together you can mark them if it helps you. Just kind of keep the um, marking on the inside of the score line because this will all be like closed up tight and you won't see that. Okay, we have one left to do and we're going to put those together. I'm getting twisted up here, but you kind of get the idea. If we've done pretty well, oh, we did. Those come together equally. All right, so already we've got the pouch. This longer end is gonna be the flap. We could go ahead and burnish that while we've got this all spread out. Okay, and then we just have to adhere things together so that it stays like nice and boxy. All right, so to do that, I'm going to open this all up and we want to glue this flap down to the back and the same on the other side. So what you're gonna do, I like to use my Tombow glue for this. Stopping before you get to this diagonal, you're going to apply adhesive to that section. Okay, do not go beyond that diagonal. I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. Again, paying attention to that diagonal. And then on the front as well. Okay, we know this and this need to connect. So we are going to apply adhesive there and then on the other opposite side there as well. We're just stopping short of the diagonal on both sides there. And of course we did there. Then once you have all the glue in place, you can just fold this down and hold it for a second. Let that all set up. While we're at it on our end flap here, while this is drying, I'm gonna pull in my envelope punch board. I'm just going to um, round the corners on the flap end. You can do that with a corner round or two if you want. Okay, so we've got glue only to this point and only to this diagonal. So you can see when we open this up, now we're getting a more defined pocket for our note cards. All right, now I also like to add adhesive so that this portion stays flat to the back side and the same on the other side, and so that this these stay um, tight to the front. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that with my fast fuse so we don't have to wait for that to dry. And you might, you might have to, you know, you might have to move it to make sure you're um, putting putting the adhesive in the right place. You know, you can always check that by seeing how the construction is supposed to be in the end. Okay, so I'm pushing I'm pushing the inside of that lining down to the back, 
and the inside of the lining down to the front here. Yes, I can. All right. Okay, so my, my um, Sharpie does show just a little bit. So if you're going to use the Sharpie, keep it inside more. All right, but right there we have the clutch. And then all I'm going to do is add the note cards and tie it up. See, we've got this nice pocket then for the note cards. I've got four note cards and four envelopes. And I've got about 28 inches of ribbon here. This is the lovely lipstick ribbon that goes with this suite. Um, like I said, I hope you'll see all of the different possibilities. I just try to tie that real tight at first because I know when I go to finish the bow here, it's going to loosen up a little bit. All right. Uh, I've also pre-made a tag. You could have like a two from tag. Or what I did is a little uh, wishing you a lovely day. And that is from that same stamp set. I've already got that made. It's on, a, this is a two and a quarter inch circle. And then the stitch circle that is just a little bigger than that. So I'm going to tie that real short so it doesn't hang hang long and then I just need to uh, trim up the ends and we're done here so very simple um, hope you'll give it a try thanks for checking out my project have a great day